guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video. I just want to start by saying I do apologize if the sound is not great. I'm doing an internal microphone recording as I am away on holiday in Greece, as some of you may know already. And I won't be back for another couple of days yet. But well, I thought I'd bring you guys a video, a little update. I've uh, seen there's been quite a few things going on in the market, some not too good and some um, very good. But uh, we want to focus on buy DAO and core okay um i'm not in any positions um of course but um i do regret missing this move right here but uh, it's better to be safe than sorry i haven't been able to focus my attention on the market uh so um yeah i mean we'll get into that but we'll just start with buy down okay now in previous videos i've said that buy down for me had an overall target at about 1.8 cents okay which is all the way down in this range okay it might be a little bit higher might be a little bit lower but it will be good to see it come down to, to this level and when I say good I mean um, for a buying opportunity okay so I'm not talking about long-term bearish I'm talking about short term all right before we start seeing it move again to the upside now that's just my opinion of course remember I'm not a financial advisor so please do your own research when investing in cryptocurrencies and all that sort of stuff all right but um, we can see that buy down is kind of curling over to the downside again, okay, after this little bit of relief. All right, if we draw a couple of lines, in fact, let's just draw a line like that. You can see it's, it's clearly broken a trend line, all right? Um, let's just change the color of that so we can all see it. Okay, so you can see it's broken that trend line, okay, so it's clearly moving to the downside all right if we look at an adam and eve uh, formation as well reversal pattern okay i can see one um but an inverse one okay so if we look at adam and eve pattern adam and eve reversal okay so adam and eve reversal pattern you can see let's just go with this one right it's a bullish pattern, okay, on a, if, if we're talking um, about it going up, I'm talking about it going down, all right? So what I just want to show you is that, we're going to get this up large. Okay, so this Adam and Eve reversal pattern here, you see it comes down, you get a V shape, and then you get a U shape, okay? It curls around and then it heads up to the downside, okay? Now the reason I'm showing you this is because I can see this in reverse, okay? So... If we go like that, you could potentially see a reverse, an inverse um, Adam and Eve reversal pattern. Okay, so we've got the V shape over here. Just get my paintbrush out. We've got the V shape over here. Okay, and then we've got the U shape over there. All right, so that could potentially curl down, boom, like that. All right, guys, so that's just um, sometimes the way I look at the market. I look at it in an upside down fashion, you know. Um, it might not be clear to see all of the time, but um, you know the way my mind works. Sometimes I think, okay, if we were in the uh, reverse position of that, and I saw this pattern, um, you know, it the right way up, I'd be expecting buy down to be shooting up, okay. But um, because we've got this pattern in the other way, I'm expecting it to go down. So sometimes you can do that. You can just flip your chart, and you'll be able to uh, make an informed decision based on that okay guys so uh yeah just a quick update on buy down i hope uh that's been able to help somebody all right guys and uh we'll have to wait and see whether it goes down there because i could be wrong and it could just get a big candle to the upside and uh you know take out this level put in a higher high and a higher low and then continue to the upside all right but um yeah this week is not looking um very bullish to me at the moment okay moving on to core you can see that it did come around and it came all the way down to uh, well it did actually come down to 3500 okay and now it's currently sitting at 4700 approximately all right because you can see we did get this big candle to the upside now that would have been a lovely trade for me to get in and especially with bouncing off this support and not breaking it all right now i did think that this could potentially fall down further 
okay but i haven't had time to be constantly looking at the market all right i'm also on different time zones to what i'm used to normally so i'm a little bit jet lagged and a little bit um I've had, a, I've, had a, I've had a long couple of days. I mean, even <laughs> if I told you guys the story of um, what happened in Italy um, on my way to Greece, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to get into that, all right, guys? But uh, you can see we've got this big candle to the upside, all right, or this big couple of candles, all right? Now, that move on its own was approximately 37, almost 40% move, okay? And now it's rolling over now. I won't FOMO into this, okay, because it's not re it's not moved into a bull trend at the moment. Now it's good that we see that we did get the decreasing volume, which I've talked about before. When you get decreasing volume, some people think it as a bad thing, okay, and it could be a good thing for trading opportunity because you can get that spike of volume after it decreases, okay. It's almost like a breakout of a triangle. You get that spike and you get a big move to the upside. All right, well, a lot of times a breakout of the triangle then rolls over to the downside a lot of the time. All right, also, what I'm looking at is the fact that we're still not putting in a higher high. Okay, so we got higher, uh, a high over here, and we've got a lower high. Okay, then we've got a lower high. Okay, and once again, we get a lower high. Okay, so it's still not moved into bullish territory as of yet. All right, it would be nice to think that, but unless we get a continuation to the upside, then I'm still not bullish on this at the moment in the short term. Bullish on it long term, of course, okay? But yeah, I'm waiting for it to take out this high over here. Just put the line in over there. If we can take out that high over there, right? Then that, to me, would be bullish, okay? And find some support above this level somewhere, then we could be seeing that head to the upside. now. Fortunately, because I'm on holiday, my mind's been on other things. Uh, so, um, you know, I've not been in any trades this week at all. Okay. So, um, you know, hopefully by the time when I get back in the next couple of days, we'll have something more to say to you. Uh, hopefully we'll be uh, a little bit more bullish. But at the moment, that's all I've got for you for now. Okay. Keep your eye on call. Uh, keep your eye on buy down. There is also another fork um, coming. Um... Not sure if it's a fork anyway, but um, there's a token called XFI, okay? That's X Finance, okay? And they've actually got a token coming uh, on the 15th called X Core, all right? So that could be one that, um, you know, goes a little bit bullish, especially in the short term, all right? So uh, keep your eye for, out for that one as well. I will be back on the 15th, okay? Now, so that's one that I'm definitely going to be looking at um, for a short term potential, okay? Because a lot of these Uniswap coins have a lot of hype around them and uh, they can just get on Uniswap and pump, all right? So I'm going to be looking at opportunity, considering the fact that I haven't had much this week being on holiday, all right, guys? But um, got to take your mind off things sometimes, got to relax and take care of what's in important me and my wife are celebrating our anniversary today actually the 13th of october so yeah today is a day where i'm going to be focused on my wife and my marriage all right guys so that's it for now if you're not subscribed to the channel please do like comment down below and uh get over onto twitter and follow me over there at crypto likes and i'll see you guys in the next video if you would like to support the channel there's actually a way you can do that now while getting something out of it for yourself we have a new clothing brand called Parabolic. This is a brand dedicated to the crypto space. I use the name Parabolic because that's the kind of movement we like to see in those charts. Now there's a range of products you can choose from, from hoodies, vests, socks, even face masks during this pandemic time. And we're using a lightsaber to represent the YouTube channel. Okay, there'll be a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Got a range of different colors, range of different products. All right, and what I'll actually be doing is for the first 100 people that do actually buy something, if you send me a message, what I'll do is I'll send you a free invite for the new Telegram group, which will be a paid Telegram group, okay, after that. Okay, so the first 100 people, you will get a invite sent to you for free, all right? Even if you buy something as small as a mug, you will get that, just to show my appreciation for your support as well okay guys so you've got a chance to be the exclusive members of the new group you've also got a chance to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise so link in the description get on over to the website and make your purchase now remember the trend is your friend